Now I know condos are not for everyone, but hear me out. We currently have 3,000 properties on the market, 20% of those condos. 800 sales in the last 30 days, 30% of those condos. And thousands of condos being built across Ottawa as we speak. Do I have your attention? Let's talk about condos. If you got priced out of the market recently, I feel for you, it's a terrible feeling, but it doesn't mean that you have to go back renting forever. If you wanna get in the market and if you're tired of paying someone else's mortgage, condos might be for you. It also can be a great option for active people, empty nesters, or even downsizers. So, you know what time it is? It's time for pros and cons. So let's start with pros and pros number one is the most obvious, price. The average price for a condo in October was 450,000 as opposed to 706,000 for a freehold. Freehold just means that you own the whole place, there's no condo fees or anything, it's just the regular property. So this is a pro for obvious reason, it's much more affordable and your down payment is gonna be much lower if you go for a condo. It's an easier way for you to get in the market, no doubt. So pros number two, low maintenance. And I need to mention something, you have different styles of condo, people often you know, picture just the tower with the apartment style condos, but that's just one of them. You also have the regular townhouse style condo, which are very popular and much cheaper than a normal townhouse. And you have to care for your front lawn and backyard, but the rest is still very low maintenance because the condo fees are gonna cover for snow removal for much of the maintenance around the uh, around the properties. So that can be a good option. And if you're in a tower, aside from cleaning your apartment, you know, there's nothing else that you have to do. You just pay your fees and everything's taken care of for you. So that can be a good option if you don't want the hustle of taking care of a full property by yourself. So pro number three, lower taxes. Taxes are calculated on the value of your property. So it goes without saying, you have a cheaper property, you pay less taxes. And this is a pro for obvious reasons. I don't think I need to explain it much more. Number four, location. Often condos are in desirable locations. They are near transit lines, restaurants, shops, etc. So again, it's not always the case, but especially with iRise Tower, they tend to be closer to downtown. So they just have more amenities. And if you uh, wanna walk places instead of taking your car, that could be a good option too. Pro number five, and a bunch of you, because those are mostly for apartment style condo. Well, for starters, it's safer, right? You have your fob key uh, to get in the building. It's not directly your door. There's a lot more doors to go through for a stranger, I mean, to get in the building. So there's the safety side. And secondly, with those types of building, usually you get amenities like a gym, a pool, a party room, or even a rooftop patio. It's included with your condo. It's paid for with the condo fees, obviously, but it's something you have access to. So if it's important for you to have proximity of all those things, I mean, it's it can be a good fit for you. And the last pro, pro number six, and the most important one, it allows you to build build equity and get in the market. Real estate is all about time. So the sooner you can get in the market, the sooner you can start getting appreciation on your asset. And I get it, right? Condos are not for everyone, but if you're in an apartment right now, condos are kind of the same. Think about your first car. Is this your dream car? No, it gets you from point A to point B, it did what it had to do. Now think about real estate the same way. Your condo doesn't have to be your forever home. It's a tool to be able to buy your forever home. You build your equity for a few years and then you have this money to buy the home that you really want. So every year that you pay rent, you're not building your own equity. And then you end up playing catch up with the increase in price for a home every year. Maybe after all this, you still don't like condo and that's okay, but see this as a stepping stone for the house that you really want. I helped a lot of people getting in the market this year, getting them into condos. In a few years, they're gonna call me back and they'll be able to afford what they really want. Quick pause. If you're thinking about buying in Ottawa, if you're a first time home buyer wanting to jump in the market, listen, there's a lot of price increases happening every day on the MLS and there's a lot of inventory right now. So that might be your moment. And if you need help with all of this, I'm a realtor in Ottawa, so that's what I do. So please feel free to reach out to me. My information is down below in the description. You can also book a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me also down below. And then I can put you in touch, you know, with a mortgage broker. We can explore your options and see what you can and can do, but at least you're gonna have a good idea. So let's move to the cons and start up with lack of privacy. It goes without saying that you're most likely gonna have shared walls. If you're in an apartment right now, not much of a difference. And if you're going for the high-rise condo building, those are concrete structures usually, and you basically can't hear anything, so that, that's not even an issue. Cause number two, shared decision-making. 
Yes, the condo is yours, but you do have to deal with the condo board, going to some meeting, vote on some things that would affect every other owner. When you buy the condo, we have the status certificate reviewed by a lawyer to ensure that the condo corp is in good legal and financial standing. That's the best thing when you have to avoid bad surprises down the way, but you're still gonna have to play nice with your neighbors, go to some meetings and votes on some things. That's just part of it. Con number three, and that's for the towers I was talking about. It sucks for deliveries, uh, either for food or just you know, Amazon and stuff. It's just, it can be annoying because you have a lot of doors to go through and sometimes it's a hustle with those deliveries companies. So it's very minor, but something I, I think I should mention. And con number four, and probably what's preventing you from making the jump to a condo, condo fees. Does it suck to have to pay extra money on top of your mortgage every month? Absolutely. But you got to shift the way you see condo fees. Sometimes, not always, condo fees can pay for utilities. So that's part of it, not always. Let's assume you have a house, right? You have to pay for everything yourself. So roof, window, landscaping, snow removal, everything. Those can be really expensive. And if you don't budget accordingly, that's gonna be a bad surprise when it comes the time to change your roof. Condo fees is like forced budgeting. They take that money from you, they put it aside, and they plan ahead for those big ticket items they're gonna have to repair down the road. They also hire a snow remover, they also hire landscapers or whatever they need, and they handle that for you. So it's not money you just give away, right? It's money you put aside now to offset future expenses. Does it make you feel better? Not really, because it's still money you have to pay, but at least you know where it's going. And if this is the price you have to pay to build your equity and later buy something you really want, I think it's a good deal. So condos are definitely a good option for a lot of people. And if you still don't like them, no hard feeling, we'll find you something else. Owning a property in Ottawa is great, but what's the cost of living here? And what is there to do here? Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next one.